In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this automation to search LinkedIn jobs multiple times a day that then filters down those jobs, summarizes the job content with the URL and the title, then adds that to our Airtable database before we post it into our community that is run on better mode. This literally saves me countless hours every month, let alone the members of our community that are searching for these jobs. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process, the tools that I use to build this automation, and I'm also gonna give away the automation templates completely free of charge. You can get the link for those down in the description below. Uh, so let's jump into the tools first, right? First things we were using make.com to build our automation flow. That's what you can see here. Obviously we're using LinkedIn to find the jobs and to, to get the job data. We're using rss.app, which allows us to turn web pages into RSS feeds. We're using Airtable to store all of our data. And then we're gonna take that data from Airtable and we're going to use Zapier to then publish, publish that into um, better mode, which is our community platform that you can see here. We have an opportunities board and here is the job that has been posted from this Airtable database. So first, let me just talk a little bit about the problem that we're trying to solve here, because it's all well and good building out fancy automations like this, but if we're not really solving a problem, it's kind of pointless. So I just want to make sure that we understand what the, the task that we're actually automating away here is and the reason to do so. Now, the problem that I had is as we were running this community, um, we wanted to bring more opportunities into the community for potential roles that our community members might be interested in. The only way that I could do that previously was by coming into LinkedIn, coming into LinkedIn jobs, and then searching for fractional in United States. And ideally, that was going to give me a bunch of fractional um, roles, so fractional CMO, fractional CFO, fractional CTO, etc., cetera, uh, and pull those up here. But you can see it brings up nearly 1,200 results, um, well, over 1,200 results, and a lot of them just aren't relevant. They don't even have fractional in the title. So it's, it took a long time to search through these, even to just find like 10 relevant posts. And you could find 10, but it might take you an hour or two. And then, you know, the next day they're kind of out, outdated because these roles get posted on LinkedIn and they go really fast, right? So um, the applications for those roles get shut down quickly. So the, the problem that we're trying to solve here is, A, I want to save time. I don't want to do this manually. I don't have the time to do it every day, but I want to provide that value to our community. B, I also want to be able to publish these posts into the community in a timely manner because, like I said just a second ago, they expire quickly and they stop taking applications very fast. So um, that's the problem that we're trying to solve here. So let's start on building this solution, shall we? So first things first, I'm going to go over to make.com and I'm going to click on create a new scenario. And this is where we're going to build all of our automation. So I'm just going to name this daily job search. And the first thing that we're trying to do here is extract the information from LinkedIn, okay? So what I'm first gonna do is right click here, add a module, and you can see that it turns our first module here into a timer. If I click on this little clock, it's gonna say, I'm gonna run at regular intervals. Uh, it's by default set to 15 minutes. We actually wanna do this every 12 hours. So I'm gonna put it down here as 720 minutes, which is 12 hours. And then every 12 hours, I want to be able to pull that information from LinkedIn. So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna come over to rss.app, which I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna to go to my feeds, and you can see down here I've got three feeds set up. And essentially, if I click into the United States one, I'm just gonna uncheck all of my filters so you can see what this actually looks like, and then we'll re-add the filters back in later. So I'm just gonna uncheck all of those come back to the feed. And now you can see, here's all of the jobs that are being found for this, this fractional job search in the United States via rss.app. So how did we achieve that? Well, if we come over to LinkedIn jobs and we type in fractional and then we have our location, essentially all that we're gonna do is take this uh, URL, we're gonna come to RSS app, we're gonna add new feed, and then we're gonna drop the URL in here and then click generate. And then it's gonna work here to create the RSS feed. 
So now you can see it's pulled through the RSS feed. It's got a bunch of different roles in here. It's got, uh, looks like 798 fractional jobs. So I'm gonna save this feed and then it gives us the URL here to work with, all right? So I'm just gonna edit this. I'm just gonna change the name of it as fractional jobs, United States, YouTube, uh, just so that I've got a differentiator here. And then we're going to copy this URL. We're gonna come back over to make.com and then in our new module here, we're gonna type in RSS to bring up RSS app. We're gonna retrieve RSS feed items. And then we're gonna drop our URL into here. And then I'm gonna maximum number of items is 100. I think it maxes out at 25 anyway, so I'm just gonna click okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna run this. So click run once and now you can see it's just hit that URL and now we've got our output, right? So you can see bundle one, bundle two, bundle three. And if I scroll down, it goes all the way down to 25. So we've now got 25 bundles. In each one of these bundles is essentially a job from the feed. As you can see down here, we've got the title. There is like a very short description and there's a URL. Um, so now we want to be able to take this information and put it into our Airtable database. Super simple. So the next thing that we're gonna do is click on Airtable, add a new module, click on Airtable, and we're gonna click on create a record. So I've already got my connection into my Airtable. I'm gonna use my fractional jobs database that I've already set up. I'm, I'm not going to reset this up from scratch, but essentially we've just got a job ID here. We've got a job title, we've got a summary, the URL of the job posting, a location, so where is the job, and then the job found, right? Um, so it's very easy to set this up, but if you do, again, if you do want to just download this and plug and play, you can find the links for the templates in the description below. So let's go over to back over to our automation, and then we're going to select our opportunities table, which is the table name here. And then we can see, okay, well, we've got a title, summary, URL, location, so it's pulling in all the fields. So for the title, what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm not gonna use these ones that are at the top here. I'm gonna come into RSS fields, okay? And I'm gonna select the title from here. The summary I'm gonna put down here is the description for now. I uh, will come back to that later. The, the URL is going to be the link. And then the job found, we actually just want that to be whenever the record is created in Airtable, right? So I'm gonna come into the little calendar icon here and I'm just gonna drop a timestamp in there. And we're doing a, right now we're doing a US RSS feed. So we are searching for jobs in the US. That's what our uh, feed is, United States. So I'm just gonna hard code this location to United States. And then I'm gonna click okay. So now if we click on run once, you can see it's pulled in the RSS feeds and then those 25 items that it found, it's now dropping them all into Airtable. If I do a quick refresh here, you can see they're all dropped in to Airtable here. So one thing you might notice is it looks like there's potentially some duplication in here. So boardroom advisors, boardroom advisors, what happens is on LinkedIn jobs, sometimes we get like duplicate job posts and we don't want to collect duplicate job posts into our database because we don't want to post du duplicate posts into our community, right? So that's one thing that we need to solve for now. So the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to, in our automation, I'm just going to drag this over. Now, when we get the data from the RSS application, um, what we're gonna do is actually call our database in Airtable first, and we're gonna search for the job post URL in our database to see if it already exists in the database. And if it does exist, then we won't, won't continue the operations. We wanna set up a filter, um, actually, sorry, we want to click on uh, add a module, and then we're gonna go Airtable, and we're gonna search record. Now, once this loads, we're going to select our base. We're going to select our table. 
we want to pull in the URL and then the formula is going to be um, open curly brackets URL close curly brackets equals and then we're going to have quotation marks open and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull in the link from the RSS fields here and then close. I'm going to click on OK. Now what's going to happen is it's going to search the URL given by the RSS um, in Airtable. And then what we want to do is add a filter in here where if the URL from the search already exists, we do not want it to pass through, right? So the only way that we want it to pass through is if it does not exist. So I'm going to click on OK. Now we're going to run once again. And now you'll see here that it is filtering out all of these because they're already in the Airtable database because we just added them a second ago. So you can see no new records were created. So if I come back over to our database, if I just click on all these and just delete them, I'm going to leave our previous one in. Um, and then if I go back over to here and if we run this again, you can see now it is adding them because the URL does not already exist in the table. It's adding them all in one by one. So what do we want to do next? Well, we want to prep this information so that we can actually send it into our community. But one of the things that you'll notice here is in the summary, we've kind of just got like a bunch of HTML gobbledygook and it's not really that useful. So what we want to do is we actually want to visit the job posting URL, which is this one here. We want to look at the full job post and then we want to create a short one paragraph summary so that when we add it into our community, uh, there's some context of what the opportunity is. If I click onto this one, you can see the example. So we've got the job title and then we have this summary here of the, of the job. And the way that we do that is we're actually going to add in an extra module here called HTTP and we're going to click on make a request. Now what this allows us to do is it allows us to actually visit a web page in the automation and extract the data from the web page. So the, we need the actual URL that we're visiting, in which case I'm going to use the link from the RSS. And then we're going to click on parse response. Yes. I'm going to click on OK. Let's just tidy this up with an auto align. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete one of these so that we can see this run on one of these uh, one of these jobs. I'm going to click run once and you're going to see it's going to do the search, but it's filtering out the rest because they're already in the database. It's just done this for the one that we deleted. So now if you see here, if I click on this um, little icon, now I can see what information has been retrieved from the HTTP request. So if I scroll down, we can see it visited this URL, which is the job listing. And now we have a bundle down here, which is the output. If I click on data, this is the HTML from that page. So as you can see, it's not really that useful for us right now. So what we need to do is summarize this in a way that we can add it to our Airtable database. So I'm going to stretch this out again. And this is where we're going to use our good old friend, chat GPT. Oh, we don't need a router. What we need is a module. So we're going to bring ChatGPT in. We're going to click on create a completion. And then we're going to select the model. I like to use 4.040 mini for this kind of thing because it's a pretty simple summarization task. It's cheaper. It's a cheaper model to use and the context window is bigger as well. So we can pass it more data without it erroring or having any issues. Uh, put the max tokens to zero. And then we're going to add our message. So first off, we're going to add the role as user. And then I'm just going to copy and paste the message content from here. And I'll allow you to see what that is. So I will pass you the data extracted from a LinkedIn job posting URL. I want you to go through the data and create a one paragraph summary of the job. Only output the summary nothing else. 
I'm just going to add that in because sometimes ChatGPT has its little habit of going, certainly here is the summary of the, of the information. We don't want that, right? So here is the data. We're actually going to use the data from the HTTP request. I'm going to click on OK. All right, so let's go back over to our Airtable. And now what we're going to do is replace that summary, which was you know, a bunch of HTML useless information. And we're actually going to take the result of our chat GPT. And then I'm going to click on OK. So if I come back over to our um, job database, I'm just going to delete this last one once more. And then I am going to come back over, click run once. So again, there's going to be 25. It's going to run one of those jobs. You can see ChatGPT is now doing its thing. It's going to ingest that information. And then it's going to spit that out into a summary and then into Airtable. And now you can see that we actually have a useful summary here that we can now post over into our community platform. But before we do that, I actually need to make some edits to this RSS feed. So this is one of the really cool features about rss.app. Not only is it going to visit the URL and pull a feed of all the data, you can actually filter this data as well so that it's only the most relevant information. So I'm going to click on filters. And then there's a couple of key things here that we definitely don't want. We don't want duplicate descriptions and we don't want duplicate titles because that means it's a duplicate post. So that's like a double blocker against our duplication um, that, we, that we tackled earlier on via checking the URL. Now, we only want to keep posts in that have the keywords fractional in them. In, in my case, you might want to change this keyword to something else. It might be um, IT consultant or whatever it might be, right? I don't know whether this checks for case sensitivity, so I just add both in. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down. Now you can see at the minute, it's not hiding any posts based on age. Now because we're running this twice per day, I don't want any posts in this feed that are older than a day old. Because we're running it twice a day, it should always be fresh, right? So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to bring this right down to one. And now you can see it's pretty much struck out all of the posts here because these are all old job posts and we only want the ones that have been posted in the last 24 hours. So now if I come back over, the feed is empty and that's fine for our use case. There isn't a whole load of fractional jobs that get posted on LinkedIn every day, um, you know, but across the geographies, you know, we do have a few that come through. So now that I've made those changes to the feed, I'm going to come back over to make, just double check this, everything is all good. Uh, if I click run once again, you're going to see that it pulls the RSS feed, but there's no new jobs for us, right? So it stops. Then I'm just going to tidy this up because I like to keep things clean. I'm going to come back to our job posts um, database. I'm just going to delete all of those apart from our existing one. Now you'll notice that there's location field here as well. So for our use case, we're actually searching across three different locations. We've got US, Canada, and UK. So you can you can essentially do the same thing and just set up a new RSS feed for the United Kingdom, right? So if I come to here and go United Kingdom, then this we would set up the the RSS feed based on this URL, Canada. It would be um, a different URL. You know, you get the idea, right? You just change the location and then you can go from there. Uh, and then you can create the RSS free feed from there. So in my feed, you can see I've got one, two, three different feeds here, one, two, three different feeds um, that we pull in. And that's why it looks like uh, it looks like the way it does. So I'm going to come back over to here. And if I wanted to build that out, I very simply just hold shift and then drag to uh, select all of those modules. I could then right click, copy modules, right click again, paste. And I'm going to pull this down here. I'm going to drag the start module over. In here, I'm going to put right click, I'm going to click add a router. And then I'm just going to reselect these together. And I'm going to drag that close to the router. And then I'm going to right click and paste again. And I'm going to drag that close to. 
I'm going to drag that close to our router. You can see it auto connects as you drag it close. And then I'm just going to tidy all these up with auto align. Um, so to finish this off in our use case, all that we would do is come into each one of these RSS feeds, drop the, the relevant feed URL from our feed app here. We would drop that back into the relevant feed. And then what I would also do is come into Airtable at the end here and I would change the location, right? So I'm going to put Canada for this one. And then I would put uh, UK for this one. So every time now that it creates those records, it's also going to create the location as well. Um, so that's how we get the data in. Now we need to get this data into our community. Um, and because we're using a tool called Better Mode to run our community, I mean, this is an actual live community. We've got a community of around about 45 to 50, I believe, um, senior leaders for f senior fractional leaders. So CMO, COO, CTOs, awesome group of people. And um, yeah, like I say, we use Better Mode to run our community platform. Um, Make.com does not have a Better Mode module to connect to the end of this, unfortunately. Um, so we actually use Zapier for this instead. So if I come over to, the, to Zapier, it's a super simple Zap that adds on to the end here. You've got a Airtable module trigger that's, that's listening for new records that are created. So every time there is a new row that's created in the Airtable database, it's gonna fire all of that data into better mode. And then in here, we can essentially put it in our opportunity space as me as the author, and then we can plug in the title, the URL, the location, and the summary um, all in one go. And obviously you can add extra extra things in here as well if you want to. So that's how we, we automate this. And like I say, we, once, as soon as we turn this on, this runs twice a day, every 720 minutes, as it were. Um, and you can even set the starting point as well if you wanted to start at you know, 12 a.m., um, tomorrow, then if you come into here, you can click on advanced scheduling and you can set what days for it to, to fire on. You can also set time from, time to. Um, if I click on advanced settings here, you can even set the start and end date as well if you do want it to, to go from one date and through to another date. So that's it. That's how we automated this process. And this literally saved me hours every week. But not only does it save me hours, it saves our community members hours for scouring LinkedIn, um, you know, whenever they've got a spare um, 30 minutes just to find new opportunities. Because the problem with LinkedIn jobs is if you click on, if you're looking for fractional jobs here in Canada, for example, or in the US, it can bring up a lot of results and half of them are not relevant. You know, it's not, they don't even have fractional in the keywords. Uh, in the job post anywhere. So it's a waste of time. Whereas this RSS feed can filter everything out for us. And then we are able to post that into our community straight away as soon as it comes in, well, every 12 hours to make sure that these are fresh opportunities that are getting posted in there. Um, guys, if you want this automation, if you found this useful, first off, actually, please do drop a like on the video. That would really help me out. Um, any comments that you've got about this, if you found this useful, if you've got any questions on how you might be able to change this or uh, make it useful for you, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, please do subscribe to the channel as well because I'm going to have many more of these types of tutorials coming forward. And uh, if you do want the templates to be able to just plug and play, then check out the description below. There'll be a link to a landing page where you can drop your details and I will send over the template for this make.com um, blueprint so you'll have the modules all set up straight away and also for the um, Airtable database as well if that's something that you want to actually um, take a copy of as well so uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one cheers